Hello, friends, uh, all the friends of Free, of free Iran, uh, of which I am one, and I'm co-chair of the caucus for Free Iran. Uh, Iran has for too long had basic civil rights, human rights disallowed. The Iranian government has persecuted uh, people who have voiced concerns about the economic conditions in Iran and the opportunities for people to exercise their rights of speech about the government and about the economic deprivations. Uh, these, these, these are goals that most of the free world supports, and Iran does not. Uh, we need a free, non-nuclear, uh, and independent Iran that represents the values of the fine people of Iran, of which there are a majority in, in Iran, but they're not free. When they recently came out and tried to get freedom and express themselves in the streets, they were uh, reprisals from the Iranian government, cutting off internet access and cutting off other opportunities to voice their concerns. And there were uh, ways that they used to, to in, 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 in the protests. Uh, these protests uh, should not be in the way they were, and Iran needs to return to the area where we have free and uh, uh, participation in government and in expressions of ideas. So uh, I've been a supporter of the uh, uh, House Resolution 118, which condemns the Ayatollahs of repressive acts. We hope we get sufficient votes. We've got over 250 sponsors, and that's impressive and strong. Uh, we are bipartisan in our support for free Iran, and we'll continue to, uh, to voice that support. Uh, and, and to work for a free and independent and nuclear-free Iran that's a friend of the world and not uh, uh, a feared uh, threat to, uh, to the other free countries and, and, and peace-loving countries in the world. So thank you and good luck with your efforts and I'll long be with you.